Hello, my little hackmons. Today, we are going to play the DS game of all time. My Stop Smoking Coach. <laughs> I cannot believe this is an actual thing. <laughs> and I cannot believe I'm playing it right now. <laughs> okay, let's pick the coach with the least years of experience. Bingo. Wonderful, the Nintendo DS is asking for my personal information again. Usually when I want to quickly get started in a game, I just call myself A and move on, but this is a special occasion. This calls for ah. Okay, I know this because I've seen other people play it. Watch this. You could be one years old. You could be a one year old smoker in this game. All right, let's pick a funny country. Let's go with Poland, because Poland ball is funny. I like Poland ball. Yes, I do have special interests in my life, but none of them are down there. I guess movies is probably the closest. Why do you need to know my favorite food? Pasta. But still, why? My non-smoker friend's name is but very mature, I know. What the hell is this supposed to mean? The image that most represents freedom for- what? <laughs> this one looks pretty sick, I guess. Let's crank this baby up to max. Yeah! 100 cigarettes per day. <laughs> Again, let, let's push this one to its maximum. 750, 850, how, how far can we go? One, 100, Zloty? Per, per cigarette. Oh, 25 is the max. Okay, we'll take it. Okay, now we have to sign a contract that says we can't smoke anymore. I'm not sure I like that fine print at the bottom. Can't exactly read what that says. Anyways, I'm gonna draw Poland Ball because the game gave me the option to. All right, 36,000. That's a good starting amount. <laughs> Three million. You're 85. If you were lucky enough still to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a little nicotine monster, and he looks like a rejected scrap doodle from the real Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? Rehab Center! <laughs> Alright, so we're finally getting to the game part of this Nintendo DS game. This is the comfort button. It looks like the I need a cigarette button. We have Minecraft at home. Minecraft at home be like... Dude, what is with the Harry Potter ride atmosphere in this game? Like, th there should be an epic jump scare right now, but this game sucks, so there's not. You stupid idiot, it's just a bat, they are harmless. Get back up there and get that emerald like a man. Oh, come on! Alright, let's try and get back up slowly. Are you serious? I need a cigarette! Uh, okay, so pressing the I need a cigarette button uh, gave us a power up in the game? Not sure what uh, message that's trying to send here. Even with the cigarette button, this game is still hard. Now, I know I'm not the most hardcore gamer out there, but I'm beginning to suspect that this might not be a skill issue with me. Maybe it's just bad game design. Just maybe. You were lured into the smoking trap like the climber. They took a crappy Nintendo DS minigame and was like, you know what, man? This game says a lot about life. Dude, you know that Mario Party minigame where you have to be the last one standing? Actually, it's about crippling depression. Whoa, what the hell is this section of the game about? Guys, I really don't think I should be streaming this. Oh, phew. Okay, it's just metaphorical slavery. I was gonna say, this game took a turn for the worse. You know, the game that's about smoking. Okay, so in this game, you have to drive to the airport, but the cigarette is purposely giving you the wrong directions. What does this have to do with addiction being like slavery? Because aren't you trying to disobey the personification of your addiction? Also, are sentient cigarettes like a normal thing in this world like you just you're a taxi driver you just pick one up and th that's just like 
completely normal thing, no questions asked? Do the cigarettes live in harmony with humans or is there some political tension going on? Are they allowed to go in buildings that say no smoking? Do they scream when you light them on fire? I, I sure hope they do. The touch controls in this game are so bad. You're supposed to flick the pearls into the matching crate. What, what the hell does the DS think I'm doing? This game sucks. I need a cigarette! Okay, so since there's a timer in that game, I figured out that you can do nothing at all, just wait out the timer and it still passes the game for you. 11 more games? No thanks. I'd much rather have unlimited games, but no games. Oh frick, I just drowned. Anyways, on to round two! Oh my god! I'm honestly convinced that they're purposely making these games as infuriating as possible. I don't know why they would do that, what it achieves for them, but they're definitely doing it. Testimony? No way, we're gonna play Ace Attorney now? Let's go! You know what? This one is so bad that I'm not even gonna yell I need a cigarette anymore. I'm just gonna show you how many times I press that button. Somehow, I made it out. Also, why is everyone going to the movies to watch something that could be put on a billboard? Okay guys, right now, you're just gonna have to let me cook. <laughs> My favorite, acid soup. Okay, so this is like a really, really oversimplified version of the bulls and cows logic puzzle, which I do enjoy. It's actually not that bad. You told me you like pasta. Do you need to carry pasta on you at all times to avoid panicking? What? This game just keeps getting wilder. Okay, so in this one, you need to make connections with people to stay on the dance floor. But if you're chaining random strangers together at a party, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're kind of the party pooper in this situation. Also, I think this game is forgetting that people do drugs at parties sometimes. Like, drugs that are probably way worse and have way more detrimental effects on you than cigarettes. Surrounded by other addicts, isn't it like being one of the people in the Titanic? At least you're not alone. <laughs> Who wants to die? How does this game keep getting more insane? Oh, finally, Butt enters the game. <laughs> what are these noises? He doesn't even sound like he's uncomfortable or in pain. He sounds like he's really bored. Dude, this is a coloring game. This is a kid's game. What does this have to do with smoking? Is treating you like a child a good approach to quitting smoking? So they're just slowly burning this cigarette for no reason other than to infuriate the player. Well, luckily, I'm playing this on Delta Emulator, which can run games at two times speed. Your move, Alan Carr's easy way. So we're trying to find an item that costs the same amount as the cigarette. So let's go with the gaming laptop. Notice how they said laptop instead of PC. Yo, I got it first try? What? What the hell? It looked like I, I got it. That, that should be illegal. Oh my god. That's a scam tactic. I want my money back even though I'm playing it for free. <laughs> How depressing is it that education, not even a specific college or anything, just the word education, is in the most expensive level. It's on the same tier as an airplane or a pool. Oh my god, this game has a final boss. And it's Connect 4. <laughs> we beat the final boss. I'm so excited for the post-game content. Will there be DLC for this? Oh my god, it's that weird picture they made me pick in the beginning. It ended the same way it started genius storytelling there's no way this isn't getting game of the year i like how it says decision time but they only give you one decision i've noticed that this game is very anti-smoking i i want to hear both sides of the story
Hooray, we publicly executed the talking cigarette. Wait, you don't see the talking cigarette? I'm not crazy, you are! Well, my friends, with the help of the Nintendo DS and Alan Carr's Easy Way, we have officially quit smoking. <laughs> Let's freaking go! <laughs> this has got to be the single worst video game I have ever played.